Guys, we just broke 69,000 again, okay? This is not a drill. We are right now in price discovery mode and we're gonna go through this together live as we speak. So we just broke 69K. Let's jump over to the chart. $70,000 for Bitcoin, 70,100. This is absolutely 70,200. This is wild, right, guys? We just broke it. We've broken through and the small trades that we had open are doing very nicely. You know, I opened this portfolio with smaller trades so you guys could see how you can make a little bit of profit with small margin $22 $70 we got $17 $1000 we have $785 200 and we have $250 with a $681 gain now, with that said, if you want to trade this current market volatility, absolutely insane. There's links to all of the exchanges that I personally use in the description. And if you wanna stay up to date with any trade I make, there's a link to my Patreon down there in the description. You get access to this. And uh, recently we did a 13X, this is 10X, but we actually made a 13X. So guys, what is happening right now? We got altcoins going up, but the big news is Bitcoin. Why is this happening? Now we're dropping again. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this chart. Absolutely insane. Don't get shooken out again like we did last time. All right. There was a big crash. Crash last time. People got liquidated. Don't be trading with enough leverage to get liquidated. Look at this. We're dropping now 69.5, but we're still in all time highs. So we did just hit 7, 70,292. Now we're back down, dropping fast again. I wonder what's going on. I wonder if we're going to see another 14% drop again happen or this is just going to get bought up. That was a big liquidation candle. Let's take a look over on the liquidations. We'll drop it into the monthly. Do we have any big liquidations that we can figure out where we might be going? Okay, down here, really $50,000 is where there is billions and billions of dollars of liquidations. And in between that, there actually isn't much, which is good news to see. We got the Bitcoin ETF going crazy. Of course, this is total Bitcoin spot ETF net inflow. We had a massive day on the 5th of March here and uh, six and seven weren't as big but still big days guys 238 million 266 million and right here 862 million we're seeing altcoins start to move guys of course this is going to create fluctuations of course if bitcoin moves the way it does look at this absolutely unreal i bet you that was a massive liquidation a lot of people would have got liquidated and again guys let's take a look look my portfolio value has gone down right? We're still at $7,000 account asset. But look, nothing will have been liquidated. XRP, I've lost some money on that. I'm down here, but my liquidation point is $46, okay? So this is not going to get liquidated, all right? Then we have other positions. Doge is still in $1,000, $43,000, all of this. If we start to see a worry, you can close out, okay? So this is the kind of margin you need to be trading with so you don't get liquidated, all right? With that said, just look at that crazy movement. What is going on? People are trying to trade this. I'm not trading this. I'm sitting here patiently waiting to see what happened. You know, the one thing that's going on right now, which we spoke about in the earlier video today, is this. We got Google Trends. We have crypto search term going absolutely crazy here, pushing up again. Look at that. We are pushing up. So this means that retail investors are starting to pay attention. We can see this by the views on YouTube. Look at this, pushing up even more today. We are starting to go absolutely parabolic. And this is where we need to start being careful with what we're doing, okay? So retail investors are coming back. We have the greed and fear index in extreme greed. We have Bitcoin's price now sitting just below the all-time highs. Coming back quite nicely here. We're going to have to wait to see if we get another liquidation event like we did. Let's drop this uh, onto the four hourly here. Look at this. So we can see I sold, I sold, and I bought right here at the bottom and I rode that baby all the way up. But guys, this is what's happening. Look at where we are pushing still all time highs. And when you zoom out, things look a lot better than when you zoom in. It's a lot less scary when you have the daily chart up like that than it is when you have the minute chart up, which is what we started with, okay? So that's what the market's looking like right now.
Just before we jump further into this video, I want to introduce you guys to today's channel sponsor, and that is XDeFi. Now, as the bull market continues to approach, and as we see from Google Trends, there is going to be a new wave of retail investors entering the space. Those investors will hopefully be eager for self-custody and altcoin trading, and this is where the XDeFi wallet actually stands out as one of the best solutions for managing a diverse cryptocurrency portfolio. So I do think that this might be of interest to you guys. And the XDeFi token is positioned as a potential leader, offering a compelling alternative to mainstream options like MetaMask. With that said, why would you want to choose XDeFi? Well, they have a diverse network support where the XDeFi wallet shines by supporting a wider array of networks than any other wallet, offering users the convenience of accessing Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos, and more, all from a single platform. This eliminates the hassle of managing multiple wallets and transferring funds between them, streamlining the investment process. On top of that, they have an investment opportunity with the growth of the XDeFi wallet token, XDeFi. This token presents an opportunity for investment as the wallet's performance directly influences the token's value with a unique model that shares 75% of the revenue with its stakers. This creates a direct correlation between the wallet's user base expansion and the potential upside for XDeFi holders. On top of that, there are also staking rewards where the wallet includes a staking feature on the web app and there is APY for stakers and the APY for stakers increases as the revenue share grows. This offers an added incentive for users to hold and stake the XDeFi token, benefiting from the wallet's success. There is also a comparative advantage where we can draw parallels to being an early investor in platforms like Trust Wallet. XDeFi offers a substantial growth potential, even though it has already seen significant appreciation. The journey for XDeFi still seems to be in its early stages, suggesting there could potentially be room for more growth. But of course, before investing into anything, you need to go out and do your own research. Now with that said, XDeFi is also a universal gas token. This is an upcoming feature, the gas tank, which will amplify XDeFi's demand by utilizing it as a universal gas token across supported networks. This innovative approach not only enhances the utility of XDeFi, but also positions it as a fundamental asset within the ecosystem. And for me personally, this really did stand out as a really unique value proposition because there has been so many times where I use different wallets and I have different addresses and I don't have the gas token. And this would actually fit in perfectly to my trading style. So for anyone interested in learning more about XDeFi, the token or the wallet, I'm going to leave all of the links that you need down there in the description. Thank you to XDeFi for sponsoring this video and let's jump back into it. The S&P 500 pushing all time highs, loads of Bitcoin ETFs being bought up. We got the liquidations looking pretty nicely. We do have the greed and fear index where it is today and there is news that Tesla is buying up Bitcoin again. So this could be one of the reasons why we're getting this big push in the market. Of course, right now is the market open about an hour ago for Bitcoin. And people know that if we get news over the weekend, for example, or something happens, BlackRock uh, buys more today, something like that, it means that we have 72 hours while the markets, the mainstream markets are closed, right? They're closed 72 hours. People are buying today because they're worried that Bitcoin's price could go absolutely parabolic into price discovery over the weekend, right? So you basically, from making this video, have, I think it's like six hours that you could be buying while the market is open or over the weekend, you have about 48 hours, right? 48 hours over the weekend where the main markets are closed and you actually have the opportunity to front run the main institutions, all right? So you can get in. If we get big news, you can get into Bitcoin and then the flurry comes in on Monday when the ETFs open again. This is what we've seen. We've seen insane volatility on Fridays and Mondays now because that is when, you know, people are worried. Should I be taking profits or should I be buying? Of course, we don't know. If you buy on the weekend, you might very well buy on the weekend and then the price goes down on Monday because there's bad news. But that's the risk you're willing to take here if you are buying or you're selling because of basically trying to front run the market. Now, I want to just quickly touch on altcoins, right? We have Syncus. 
Sinkus seems to be leading the charge again. It just broke its all-time high at $210 million. Look at this, $210 million here. And as you know, I stake my Sinkus on the platform. There's a link down in the description. I have been holding and buying this for a long time now, guys. So if you want to do the same, there is a link in the description. And we do also have our Ethereum trade. So Sinkus could be one of those altcoins that gives us a good insight into what the market is thinking overall, right? We had a few of these coins in the last bull run. We followed them very closely. Sinkers could be one of them. At a $200 million market cap, we are moving on now. We are getting up into the big leagues. Now, we do have our total three here where we can see we had this uh, bull flag form, parabolic uptrend. Now we are struggling a little bit where we are. So what we want to see for altcoin season to really start is for this to continue, right? We have this to continue. We want to have Ethereum pushing up against Bitcoin. This is the Ethereum Bitcoin chart. We want to see Ethereum pushing up against Bitcoin. And we also want to see Bitcoin relax, right? We want to see Bitcoin relax. I know we want to see Bitcoin go higher, but the higher Bitcoin goes, the more money that will flow into Bitcoin and it will ignore altcoins. We want to see sideways consolidation action for Bitcoin. That is normally when we see the alt season, all right? So that's what I'm waiting for. And I am continually trying to bring you guys updates on the best possible altcoins to buy. When I buy them, I alert my Patreon first, and then that's how you find out. And then I also make videos on on, on projects and things that I'm looking at. We have our portfolios here. Today could be another great day, right? We're down at 67,700. Today could be a great day, sorry, for us to take a look at our strong bounce portfolio. So we are uh, up 30%, $400 profit. We have our best performer here, Sync82. And the, uh, the point of this portfolio is to find the coins that bounce the hardest after a dump. So if we see another dump happen now, Bitcoin, look, Bitcoin went as low as 59K. If we see another dump like that, you can head over, screenshot this if you like. These are the coins that bounced the hardest last time. And these were the ones that I decided to buy for the portfolio, the strong bounce. So if we get a big dump, I'll probably add to these guys because I already know that they're probably going to bounce back the hardest. Okay, so that's one of my game plans that I'm testing out. I do not know if this theory will work out or play out in the long term, but that's what I'm personally doing to see if I can make a profit, right? We have the strong bounce portfolio, the YouTube DCA, we have the new cycle crypto, and we have meme coins. Meme coins, of course, is doing one of the best, right? Up almost 200%, $3,400 profit in the meme coins, unreal gains. We have outperformed Bitcoin. You can see Bitcoin's trend, all-time profit. We have completely outperformed Bitcoin with meme coins, all right? So you can actually dollar cost average into the market with meme coins and still make a significant bag. And guys, the key is a diverse portfolio. You can see Ponky and Grok are both in a loss, but they have substantially been made up because of Kokinu, Pepe, Floki, and bonk, all right? We've got mad, mad gains there. And I hold a lot of cock inu in my main portfolio. We can see up 110% on the week. So exciting times. Let me know down there in the comment section which coins you are looking at for this bounce. If we do get a pullback, Bitcoin's just crossed back over 68K. So up in the air about what's gonna happen. But let me know down there in the comment section and name this tool. <laughs> If you have made it this far, so I know you watched it all the way to the end. I appreciate each and every one of you. You're doing amazingly. We are going to smash this bull run and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.